You're either in or you're out. Right now. Can you talk about your relationship with um, George Clooney and how that started, and and perhaps maybe how it sort of developed over over? Because I think what is it, seven or eight years you've worked with him now, isn't it? Oh no. Uh, yeah, I mean, no. It actually started uh, uh, roughly twenty years ago. Um, yeah, we we first met, of course. Uh, George and uh, Steven Soderbergh had a uh, had a, a company together and, and a, a really strong partnership. And so I met while we were doing uh, Ocean's Eleven. Guys, what's the first lesson in poker? Never bet on the. Uh... No, uh, leave emotion at the door. That's right, Topher. You know, it was really you, one of the and, and just to kind of talk about George in the context of, of like that movie and my introduction to him. Um, it's, I think people sometimes forget what, uh, what a special thing that was for somebody like George, who was, you know, this, this, you know, big movie star to be so generous in terms of kind of giving, uh, you know, giving up the spotlight, I would say, in terms of bringing in all these other, you know, big movie stars and, and having that that kind of team uh, able to to all uh, work together and to all shine and have their moments and things like that. I'll see you 500. I'll raise it 2,000. Guys, you're free to do what you like. It's a lot of money, but I'm staying in. That really, I think, comes a lot from just who he is as a person and his personality and, and how how he kind of views um, his role in, in, you know, working as a team, uh, collaborating. Um, and then that that transferred over to when he started directing. Let's see him. I'm not sure what four nines does, but the ace, I think, is pretty high. Dude. Thanks for the tip on Connor. Uh, his first opportunity to, to wreck was uh, the, the film uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. And uh, Soderbergh, you know, put, put my name in there and said, hey, you, you, gotta, you gotta give this kid a chance. And uh, that, was our, that was our first uh, movie together. Mm. Yeah. I suppose in a way, the way you describe him, almost ready-made to be a director in that you know he seems like a very generous uh performer I and mean, because i suppose maybe it's easy to be generous when you're george clooney i don't know but right. <laughs> uh, but even so um that that's so then obviously from there from there you've then developed um yeah and and that you know so that that movie um was a you know was a, was a great experience it was it was fascinating partly because you know george george kind of stepped into the directing role uh you know with a with a head start in terms of just having worked with so many great directors and having you know been around sets obviously yeah. for for so many years but he had never um he had never really spent a significant a significant amount of time in the editing room and so for him that movie was was kind of the first experience of starting to to understand um, the the just the incredible flexibility that 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 you have in the editing room. 